Oh. Hi, we finally starting to dig, so <clears throat> we just come to the bottom of this bank, and a lot of this has been hit on top. So we just kind of picked us a spot down here at the bottom where somebody was digging, and now we're trying to go on up. And there's some stuff there. We've rolled out a couple 1915s, and Brady just rolled out this uh, straight side Coca-Cola from Huntsville. So there's some stuff here. We're just going to have to, we might not find a whole lot, but, man, there's plenty of glass, so. We're gonna do the best we can while we're here, so we'll come back with you if we find anything. Look at that. Oh, rolled out another one. Let's see what it is. Uh, and that's a straight side from Columbus, guys. That's from back toward the house. So y'all y'all stay with us. I see a whole one. Hold on. Alright. <clears throat> Brady just exposed a whole one. And it looks like a high skirt and it's busted off. See where it's from anyway. Looks like Chattanooga, Tennessee. So anyway, whenever we find something complete or if we expose something that looks complete, we'll come back to you. So guys, I didn't film it because I thought it was one of those uh just generic bottles in perfect condition we've been finding. This is a first and company. Uh, from Utah, Alabama says this bottle not to be sold six and a half fluid ounces, but it's got one little chip right there on the back I'm gonna have to share that with Clayton though cuz uh, I don't know if that's rare or not But uh, I'm 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 tickled. I'm tickled. That's good. All right, Brady's got a couple right here oh, they're busted. Well, never mind both of them are busted, but guys, <clears throat> you know, I watched a video a guy was here digging. He said, he said, yeah, I think this place is about 99.9% dug out. But I'm telling you, if you get here and do the work and just look, take a little time, you'll find the good stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm tickled with that. Y'all stay with us. We still got a lot of time to dig. Man, we're still rolling out some older pieces. So we definitely picked a good spot, which I don't think there's a bad spot in this whole place. But... We're just gonna keep on knocking that bank down. You can see Brady's raking out a piece right there. And this is what's crazy, you know, I, I would say we're still getting excited, but we wouldn't be getting as excited as we would be at the house because if we found, if we found one or two bottles digging in this age bracket, we'd be excited, but we've already picked up, what, about a hundred bottles between the two of us just off the top of the ground, so. And I just found a awesome straight side one from a, a local town. So hopefully, hopefully we're gonna find some more while we're digging. Brady just rolled out another 1915, top sheared off of it. So the stuff's here though, guys. Y'all stay with us. We need to get our feelings hurt, but I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time. I found one. I guarantee you, we will find some more before the day is over. Straight side from Columbus. So some have been dug, but the reformed 1915 was previously unknown. Now, this has a mold date of 22 on it, so that's got to be a 1915. So there's a part of one. And Brady just pulled out another straight side coke and it's broken, he's mad. <laughs> he gonna get happy here in a minute though. All right, Brady's got a hold of one that feels whole. We're gonna see. Top's not sheer, so that's a good sign. Come on out of there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's busted off, but hey. <laughs> We didn't know that. 1915? 1915. 1915. Guys, I think I got a whole one right here. It's got a little lip chip right here, but let's pull it and see what it is. Oh, yeah. This is a 1915. Dude, it's a, it's a reform Alabama. Lord of mercy. Let's see if it's a, uh, it's got a flesh crack. That's a, that's a 1915. That's a rare one. Guys, I got another whole one right here. Let's pull that and see what it is. Ah, that looks like a uh, Aliceville quality beverages, and we've already picked up some of these. So I'm probably gonna leave that one. Anyway, we're starting to find a few. The pieces of straight size keep coming, and I've got another hobble skirt right here. Let's see what it is, and the top sheared off. That's another Aliceville. Uh, we got another one. And this is Aliceville. Got one little chip on it. We're gonna throw it to the side. That one's Brady thinks he's got a whole one. 
I'm surprised it's not an Atlas video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Hey, it looks whole when you. Hey, turn it back over. Looks whole when you look at it like that, don't it? Turn it over. <laughs> that baby half in two. Yeah. Guys just pulled this one out. Southern Five State from Columbus. It's got like a little crown on it right there, man. That would have been cool if it would have been whole. Maybe there he is. So far, we hadn't pulled out, but well, we probably pulled out four or five intact bottles, but only two of them were desirable. And Brady is in a pocket of straight sides. Up, oh, I think. Hey, there's a whole one right there. Look at him. Right there. Over that hole? Uh-uh. No. Right there. Oh, right here. Yeah, I haven't made it. Uh-uh. Right there. No, it's broke. Never I'm mind. Looking at that. That's just a piece. But anyway, there's hope. I believe this is a whole soda water. It's going to depend on if the... No, I was wrong. <laughs> Aliceville. Holy mercy. Brady pulled one out, too. <laughs> and listen, I didn't film it. Brady pulled out another uh, Huntsville straight side that was broken. Look at that thing. Yeah, well, that's a Columbus we had a while oh, ago. Yeah. So anyway. Here it was, yeah. Yeah. Hurt your feelings. Guys, we just pulled this tree down. Look at that straight side growing. That root growing inside of it. It's cool. We're still hitting a ton of glass, but just not a hot lot of whole bottles. But <clears throat> it's fun anyway. So we have switched spots. And I don't know. I might eat my words. Uh, this thing might be dug out because I'm going to tell you, I think I got extremely lucky on the two whole bottles I found a while ago because it's been a while since we found a whole one. It's probably been an hour or so, oh, I'm yeah. sure. So we've just been walking around looking and uh, digging some more. So turns out <clears throat> at, at Reform 1915, I might have said this was previously unknown. Uh, some guys I know from Alabama, they actually dug a couple. So that one I found has got some damage, but uh, still pretty lucky to have found it. And then that first uh, from Utah, um i taste the guy told me about this place and he said they had dug quite a few of that variant out of here but still a pretty good bottle so uh we're gonna be here for a little while longer hopefully we'll find something else so we did find one that was almost intact that's a reform 1915 it's got a clip looks okay right there but it's chipped on the other side so anyway brady's gonna hold on to that one this layer right here goes a little bit deeper than that other place we were at a while ago so Hopefully we're going to find some tack ones. I found a uh, buffalo right while ago that I didn't film. And I found a Gordo 1915 that was busted off. That I left alone later. Brady just raked out a whole one with a top. And the bottom's about busted off. Alice, and this old stinking Aliceville. There's some of them out here that... Uh... 1915 now. But here's the thing. You know, and, and Brady said it was kind of about perspective. If I was digging any 1915 where I dig at uh, in my area, I'd be excited. But just for the sheer amount of uh, glass that's located out here, you know, I can see why some of these other people don't uh, show any emotion, I guess, whenever they're filming. So anyway, we'll be back with you for find something else. Finally dug one that didn't have any damage. That's a Mobile, Alabama 1915. And Brady just pulled out a Columbus uh, Christmas Coke. It's got some damage. So I'm telling you, whoever was digging here didn't get down to the bottom of the layer. Anyway, starting to hit a little bit of stuff. So hopefully it'll, it'll keep turning up. Oh, God, what was that? <laughs> They're busted. They're busted. Huh? Oh, that thing in there. I'm more interested in the one that's laying below it. The top God, broke off of it. That's nice. Uh, uh, that's a quality beverages. Busted quality beverages. What is that? There's a hole. I like it. Off. That's nice. That is nice. The Brady just pulled out a first and company. Now it's the other variant uh, from Utah, Alabama. He's covering it up. You can see the top <laughs> sheared off, but hey. He's still gonna kick out with him. Cool. Finally, in some whole bottles. So Brady found a Chero Cola soda water, and it is from Tuscaloosa. And it has no lip chips, and you can't really tell until you get it cleaned up. But just glancing at it, I don't see any flash cracks in it either. Mm -mm. It's a good one. 
Just found a Meridian 1915 with a cap on it. It's in good shape. That's a clear variant. I'm ready to rake out another pretty good uh, quality measures from Alfield, which I'm gonna be honest with you, we picked up, seems like a million of those things uh, today, but um, I don't know, man, it's got some pretty embossing on it and anytime you find a good one. So anyway, we're gonna take him with us. We have a lot more luck now. I just raked out another uh, Reform 1915. And you can make it out on the bottom what it says. Of course, it's got some damage on the hill with it busted off, but that's awesome. So anyway, somebody, somebody just didn't get down all the way to the bottom of the layer when they dug here. So uh, y'all stay with us. Guys, this guy's some damage. Brady just rolled one out from Quitman, Mississippi. If I'm not mistaken, that's a that's a pretty rare dog right there. And the top's got some, it's, it's pretty sheared on it, but um, yeah, Christmas coat. You gonna keep that one? Well, it's actually a 1923, so I don't know. I know the 1915, or if I'm not mistaken, 1915 is pretty rare. So anyway, I'm tickled. We finally found some whole bottles. Soda water. Not a broken glass. Guys, this looks like a buffalo rock. Let's, pull, let's see. How's your own? That's a coat. Jackson, Tennessee. Cool. That's cool. And that's a 1915. I'm going to take that one just because it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, I just rolled a chero out. It's gonna be a late twenties bottle. And let's see if it's from Columbus. It is actually from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That's a good one. And then Brady, he rolled out a debossed, or not a debossed, an embossed Dr. Pepper. And it's from Columbus, Mississippi, so. Awesome, awesome. We finally hit us a layer. Smile. <laughs> you want that? Yeah, you gonna keep that. Uh, there's another one. I think it's gonna be home. That's another Alexville quality beverages. So we went to move over and Brady came and just looked in this hole right here. Look what we pulled out. Coca-Cola Binding Works Huntsville. Finally a whole one, got a little chip right there, but that's a good one. We've been here so long, I'm starting to enjoy watching Brady just dig. Son, we've been after it a while. That's a lot of bottles. Oh, be careful, boy. So we found some whole bottles up under that those tree roots right there where Daddy's, Brady's digging up under, but uh, lo and behold, one of them was perfect. It was just the Alice though. We ain't got much longer. We about to give out. We'll have to leave here in just a second, so. Our goal is, is to find two perfect big chiefs <laughs> and at least two perfect straight sides, correct? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's gonna do it for the, for the Aliceville trip 2020. We won't be able to come back uh, anymore this year because uh, they don't want you down in here during deer season during gun season so anyway me and old brady had a big time but uh i wish we had more stamina but we've been here pretty much all day and we about give out so what do you say brady i agree i agree so anyway we found some good stuff and listen it's just uh it's kind of a guessing game out here you can see everything that we just dug 
Um, try not to foul. <clears throat> but we came up on this spot, and you could tell that they dug kind of where Brady's standing, that top layer right there. Well, whoever dug it, they didn't get down on down to the bottom layer. And right over here in this area is where we hit that good pocket of bottles and, uh, and found quite a few whole ones. And then we come back and got up under these roots. And I'm telling you, right through here, that layer goes deep, deep, deep. But it's just it's just pieces of glass. It's, it's nothing whole. So we put a little work in today. But, um, hey, we've had a big time. And uh, I just uh, I want to give a big shout out to, uh, to Clayton from Hunting History. Y'all go subscribe to him um, for telling me a, a little bit about uh, some of these bottles and stuff. So, um if you haven't watched any of his videos, go uh, go give him a view and subscribe to his channel. But anyway, we'll uh, go get this one uploaded. We appreciate y'all watching. Go like the video and subscribe to the Jones Boys. All right, guys, here's some of the rare bottles that I found. There's going to be the 1915 uh, Reform. And I think I mentioned this one was previously unknown until some examples were dug in the dump that uh, we were in. It's in tough shape, but that's still a pretty desirable bottle. So you can see that one's got a little damage on top. And then I found, I actually found two. Little lip chip right there. Of course, it's got some flash cracks in it, but there's another 1915, and the bottom's a little more busted up on this one, but you can still make reform out. Now, I don't know if I told you, the little community I grew up in uh, is reform Mississippi, so anything with uh, reform on it's pretty cool to me. Then I found this, uh, let's see if I can find a good side. That's a CC soda. You can see the top sheared off pretty good on one side. You hit my camera, it went off. It's pretty good on one side. And it's from Reform as well. And then I actually found two. You can see that lip looks pretty good. I found two CC sodas from Aliceville, which is a pretty rare bottle. And here's the other one. See, it says CC soda. There's Aliceville. And then the find of the day, and it was, I guess, probably the first uh, or the only straight side that I found while I was there was this first and company from Utah, Alabama. Look how thick the bottom of that bottle is. And look, it looks perfect on this side. It doesn't have any cracks going around it. The only problem, or only damage it has, is right there on the top. You can see it's chip right there. But, you can turn it like that. Looks pretty good. So anyway, it was an epic, epic adventure to the uh, Aliceville Bottlers dump. So hopefully I can make that trip at least once a year. But uh, like I said, I appreciate uh, appreciate Clayton from Hunting History uh, helping me out a little bit. And um, I hope y'all enjoy these videos, guys. Uh, y'all go subscribe and like our videos. And uh, we'll see you next time.